Well, I don't have a feeling Light Mass is probably going to be the next villain that's going to strike. Then. Well, she's currently in prison. Who's in prison? Um, uh, Countess of Light. She was, um, a villain. The. The superheroes, um, you took her on. She, when did you guys take her on? She was in a museum, right? Yeah. And that was how long ago? This is relatively after. Which villain did you face last? I think it was, um, in canon, it was. Was it Lightmaster? No. Or was it Countess of Light? No. Who who did you fight last? Oh. We fought war. Oh, yeah, that's right. War. Who the hell is War? The second horseman. No, third. Oh, no, second. You didn't fight, FEMA. God, leave you, human, you people. Um. I'm trying to think what. How we can connect these. <coughs> the foot. On the positive note, the footage just caught in. I'm gonna assume it it's gonna be very blank. Weird. Um, effectively, for us, roll a notice check. Because effectively, at the second that the um, the everyone leaves the room when they hear that the supervillain it is, roll a notice check. Yeah, I'm looking for or investigate. Whichever's higher. That's plus five. He doesn't get investigated, apparently. Well, then it's, um... Okay, that's a, um, 23? Um, you'll know, you'll probably get it, and they investigate. Alright, together, you and S.H.I.E.L.D. are able to, and, um, Jason are able to put this together. It's like, hey, look at this! At every time, like, you... Like, you've got all the footage of, like, the rooms where things were stolen, and, um, the thing is, uh, and the, um, and where the fights actually took place. <coughs> the second that everyone is out of the room, from when they hear the panic, the camera breaks. Every time. Is there any sound to go with it? A faint buzzing. A very faint buzzing and then... Crack. For instance, can we check out the camera? Like, do, do they still have one of the damaged cameras? Um, they're, probably the camera is still available from the most recent one, which was the one that you had. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's see how that looks, because maybe we can tell by how it's damaged. We may also be able to, um... Locate. We'll pro well, we'll see how the camera was damaged. Maybe there's some hint to it on the clue on the video footage if we slow it down. Yeah. So, so I like playing a detective. This is nice. We should play a detective next character. We, we should we should give Mickey superpowers. <laughs> and no, why we're not giving him superpowers. Paint, paint fuck do we need to use that? Okay. Um. So he, we checking out the cameras, see how they're broken. Um, after much deliberation, it almost looks like the camera was force was put from the outside of the cap, with like almost like a puncture, but like not with a bolt, like as if something was like almost like a something shot at was shot at it. Like it's this very. There's the center which is blown out, and then there's the cracks that radiate out, but the but it looks like it's going in. Like something went into the camera. Is it a straight path or... Is it's effectively the lens got... The lens was effectively smashed so that the camera... What the viewer on it would be broken. So wait, so if it was a straight on hit, we should see what broke it. Then why didn't we? We better take a second look at that footage. Okay, maybe get Crimson Rust to look at it? I'm sure so, we'll, we'll try slowing it down, and we'll see um, what we can get from it. And at this wait, at this size, it's probably about the size of a bee, isn't it? Mm. 
it's a very small puncture. It's like almost like it's like as if someone punched the gra punched it. That's not a small puncture. No, but it, it's as if someone punctured punched it, but on a smaller scale. Um, you mean like if they took like a hole punch and poked it? Uh, mm. it's more like like I said, it looks like a bullet hole. Maybe a BB. Possibly. But you. But the funny thing is, you can't find any projectiles. That doesn't mean that. Huh. Like on the floor, like they they search this place high and low. Like it, and it would still be in the camera probably if it was. Well, why do I feel like this is just out of character feeling that this is like a pixie that came from Ireland? No, the pixie would have had a much larger fist. So, do so you go? What do you do? Um, I'm going to try and check ballistics on the camera to see if Any, anything... Like, gunshot residue or anything, right? Gunshot residue, um, seeing what... Well, matching it up, so, see if what type of bullets would have made that hole. Because they do actually have a collection of stuff that like that. Yeah, probably. And, like, because, you know, this is a superhero, uh, uh, world, they probably have different supervillains specialized guns on record, too. Of course. Definitely. Um, honestly, the one person that this that immediately comes to mind is it, on record. It's noted that Airmaster has some sort of bullet, like gun effect on her um, power air pistol, sort of almost effects like a very highly compressed air thing. She does a wind um, air tunnel and then moves something through it. Yeah. Like it's kind of like very, how a straw and a tornado works. But there again, there's no signs of projectile. Um, maybe the projectile was retrieved, or maybe whatever they were, con maybe they could control it to the point where they shot it in and then took it back out. We'll run some tests, see if we can't find any super any superhumans on record that have that sort of ability. I'm thinking like maybe somebody with ma magnetic control. Possibly, but why didn't they just then wipe the? Why go to all the trouble of destroying the camera? Why not just short out the electronics with magnetic control? Like they, they can only do machines, and uh, not machines metal. But still, that much of a radioactive of a magnetic pulse would have fried any of the cameras. Who knows? We better go back to the footage. Yep. So what do you do to the footage to try and figure this out? Um, take it frame by frame and checking it that way. Uh. To like the point where it's like broken and not broken and check each frame one at a time. Alright, give me a sec. I need to check something. I actually need to check how fast this guy was flying. If it's an actual bullet, the camera would not have been able to pick it up. Uh-huh. What does speed... What does flight speed um, about... 12 give you? How fast is that? Flight speed 12? Yes. It's the same as normal speed, except you're flying. So how fast, like, I mean, how quickly is that? Okay, my, my computer is derping on me, so... Oh god, um, so that's 50,000 feet a sec... Miles per hour? Is that miles per hour? Miles per hour. 50,000 miles per hour. How many feet are in a mile? I'll tell you if my computer is working. Because I have no clue how fast 50,000 miles per hour would translate into, um...
It's 5,280 feet. How would you calculate feet per second? You, you convert um, feet, because that's per hour. You'd convert it to minutes, then seconds. So 50,000, one, two, three, times how much? 60. 60? It's and then divided by. Actually, no. Wouldn't it be divided by sixty? Yeah, it would be fifty thousand times. Um, how many feet would that be? Five thousand, you said. Five thousand two hundred eighty. Divided by sixty. And then divided by sixty again. Divided by sixty. Okay, he was going 73,333.3 repeating feet per second. <laughs> You're giving me a headache, man. What, what, was it, what was his rank? 12. He's slightly faster than the pixie. So effectively, boom! You go frame by frame. It's pretty damn... It's a very blurry image, but you see it's like a very... Someone that approximately a cut maybe an inch or so high. Let me just approximate it. Uh, also, he's moving faster than what I think um, Crimson Rush is going. Yeah. There is no way in hell we could. You could stop him. Unless somehow you can catch him off guard or something, but that's just highly improbable for you guys. Even, I mean, even one of the fastest super metas on superhumans on record probably couldn't catch up to him. And even then, you'd have to be able to see him. But you, it's a very blurry image. But he <laughs> almost looks like like a stri a yellow. Fr the camera's in black and right, white, so it's these. The black, a black, almost like a black leotard underneath. Wait, let me guess. Wings. He's like a bee theme villain. Yes! I f knew it! Damn it! And effectively, frame, 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 you see it almost as you see him flying up, there, and, and he's blurred. It's a very blurry image. It's a white colored coat. Fine chance, is his name the Wasp? You don't know. No one has him on record. Like, you run his face, you get a bit, very blurry image of his face and you're able to kind of remaster a little bit. Mm -hmm. He is not on record. Hero or villain. Like, I mean, you run him through it, like, you send it to the sentry, and then the sentry has to do his. Any medical records? If he's on record anywhere, I can't find it. And like this is Sentry, you've like, you've called him up at this point. If he's on record, I can't find him. Let's see. Where's the first place that he did this at? New York. Yes. How how old does he look in the picture? Or do we not know? He looks maybe his twenties, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older. So I'm going to guess that his origin might have happened, you know, in New York. Because he's not, he doesn't look that old. And New York was the first place that, although judging by how fast he was going, he could be from anywhere. New York is just the first place he stopped, he started. Yeah. But he's made his way west, so... Grant, how is he picking this stuff up at that size? Heck, at that speed, he probably, if he's going that speed with the paintings and whatnot, it's amazing he hasn't destroyed them all. Or, if he has destroyed them all. You know, I'm sorry, but I've just got to say this. 
You're making me think, like, this this guy sounds like he's moving close to the speed of light. Um, Maybe even faster. I think the speed of light is what, like 10? And, a, and in my personal opinion, it sounds like if he's moving the, as fast as you're making it out since I'm bad at math, he would have obliterated these things. Unless he had some way of um, keeping, keeping them, them safe. Rank 20 is the speed of light. So he's not that fast yet. But he's oh, he is, or he's just slowed down. He is very fast, though. He seems to be going very, very fast. Like, a couple... Like, that's... like 20 million miles. Yes. 20 million miles? That's what it says as a range. Well, fuck all kinds of duck. He can go to the moon. If he wanted to. Moon base! I'm pretty sure he has, in my personal opinion. No. To go there and not die from suction. Yeah. Huh. So anything else that we can come up with? Well, like... You can tell. He destroyed the cameras thinking that no one was going to see him you know, pick things up. Maybe, um... Post it? Yeah, give it out to the superheroes? Keep it on the lookout. Sentry's like, I'm on it. And he, I figured. <laughs> he starts sending it around. You people bore me. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go. You know who would be a better person to send it to? Who? In a way, I, I know you're not gonna like this. Echo. Echo. What? What? Echo. Echo. Hello. Okay. Headphones, please. But he's been using every villain as a cover for his own crime. Now. I have an idea. Alright. These are some top grade villains now, aren't they, right? Yeah, I was just thinking, like, the Obsidian Blade would be pissed the fuck off if he found out that, um, somebody else somebody was Somebody one-upped him pretty damn good? That, and, was using his own men as, you know, s you know, smoke screens. Ooh, that sounds very delightful. Do a crime, and use somebody else as a distraction. Yeah, exactly. He's committing crimes while superheroes and supervillains are battling out while the whole room is building is evacuated to prevent damage to lost human life. He slips in while no one's looking, and every and the only people that are in the building are duking it out and <laughs> takes all the shit. Man, hey. this guy this guy just turned a bad. I'm just saying like if we feet. if we told the obsidian blade this, he would definitely hunt this person down. If you told any super villain this, I'm I, I, are, are you actually saying this out loud? Yeah, I said you're not gonna like this, but if we told the Obsidian already, Blade, don't worry, already sending it on the super villain networks. Hey, you know, maybe they're working with this guy. Maybe they, well, they obviously don't know that they're working with guy. This guy, possibly mind control. Hmm. When did you Are get here? Oh, uh, guys, I'm heading out. All right, so um, we will continue this at another time as we will leave off on that thrilling notion. Thank you and good night. Yeah, go fuck yourselves, everybody. Good night. <laughs>